This is the final video in a tutorial mini-series about counting with image J. In this video, we will automatically count the number of corn seeds spread on a table. In this example, we will count the total number of corn seeds in a photograph of corn seeds spread on a table using the automatic count feature in image J. Let's drag the image onto the graphical user interface in order to open it up. Uh, this photograph was taken using an LG H74 smartphone. Go to image, adjust, color threshold. In this case, a hue between 0 and 55, a saturation between 0 and 255, and brightness between um, 90 and 255 works pretty great. Go ahead and select. Next, to go to um, process, binary, make binary. Convert the color image to a binary image. Uh, go to um, process binary watershed to add a single pixel line between all of the, um, the seats, um, or in this case, all the pixel clusters in general. Um, now we're going to count the seats next, but in order to do that, we need to figure out um, the size of the, uh, like the minimum size that we want for the, for counting the pixel clusters. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to do a scouting analyze particles. Um, so we're just going to include the total range for everything, um, outlines for show so that we have um, numbered pixel clusters and go ahead. Um, we're going to recruit the help of um, Microsoft Excel for this next step. Just go and open a new file, a new blank workbook. Okay, and minimize that for a second. Um, now the results table has um, the number of pixel area for every um, every pixel on our um, outlines image. We're just going to um, copy that, control C, and paste it into our Excel document. Um, I'm going to call this num, call this area, and um, in the home tab under um, sort and filter just go ahead and select filter and um, with the carrot on the right, um, sort ascending. What we're going to do is we're going to look for um, uh, just kind of like a, a section that has like a gap in the area. Um, so you have a lot of like one, two, three pixels um, stuff and it starts to climb. And then right here we see that um, it makes a jump from 50 to 574, and then um, again from 948 to um, 1331. Uh, we're going to go ahead and check out the um, the area 1331. Um, we're going to look for number 1731 in order to do that. Let's go ahead and zoom on this image. Um, image J counts from the upper left to the lower right, so we're just going to um, like assume that. Once again, we're looking for um, 1731. Um, so we're kind of looking from from like a top-down sort of perspective. We know that this is kind of like the the latitude of the 1331. So we're just gonna see if there's anything that looks kind of suspiciously small in this latitude. Um, there we have it. This is a 1331. Sometimes image splits the seeds. So um, this is looking like actually if we do um, bigger than this, we'll mostly just be getting seeds. So we're going to um, 
we're going to use that as our, our lower value, 1331. Um, then we're going to do this again. There we go. We're going to analyze, analyze particles, um, size and pixels, lower value, 1331. Uh, everything else can be the same. And now, according to image J, we have 1,099 seeds, which um, seems about right, honestly. Well, this was our final movie in our mini-series about counting Van Halen automatically with image J. Thank you so much for watching our series, and hopefully we will have another tutorial for you soon.